What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about Tesla. Elon Musk just tweeted some very interesting new product changes. He said, starting on Monday, Tesla will no longer be taking orders for the 75 kilowatt hour version of the Model S and X. If you'd like that version, please order by Sunday night at tesla.com. So this is, you know, it seems like a minor change. They're removing the smallest battery pack option for the Model S and X, but it's actually a very big difference to the product lineup. This means that the, the cheapest Model S is now 94,000 for the 100 kilowatt pack instead of 76,000 and the cheapest model x it goes from 82,000 to 97,000 so a huge increase in the cheapest version of these cars so this is probably a hint that a lot more changes are about to come for the pricing and sort of vehicle lineup for tesla's highest end cars the model s and x um, which have sort of been a lack of focus since the model 3 is ramped and that's really taken all the resources of the company so i think there's a couple things going on behind the scenes here the first thing is you know they just wanted to separate the the premium higher end model S and X versus the model three. If you fully max out a model three, you're probably going to spend around 75 grand. So you're basically paying what you would have paid for the lowest end model S and X. So I think there's been some cannibalization for Tesla's cheapest models from the model three. So I think that's the first thing going on. But the second thing going on and why this makes it such a juicy piece of gossip is because Tesla's model S and X have been using a standard 18650 battery cell from Panasonic, which is different and much older technology than the new 2170 cells in the Model 3. So this is a theory I put out a video way back almost a year ago um, saying that Tesla would have a major refresh of the Model S and X in 2018. Of course, I was wrong. It still hasn't happened. And the main theory, there was a couple different technologies that are in the Model 3 that aren't in the Model S and X patented HVAC, I believe a different chip to run the infotainment system. But the biggest thing was these new battery cells. And if you think about it, Tesla, these new 2170 cells are being manufactured at the Gigafactory. Like the entire reason the Gigafactory was built was to build this new battery technology, which Tesla is now building, which is the 2170 cells. The 18650 are still being imported from Panasonic, as far as I can tell. So Tesla's real secret sauce technology is in the 2170 cells. And even let me quote from their shareholder letter about the 2170 cells. The cells used in the Model 3 are the highest energy density cells used in any electric vehicle. We have achieved this by significantly reducing cobalt content per battery pack while increasing nickel content and still maintaining superior thermal stability. The cobalt content of our nickel cobalt aluminum cathode chemistry is already lower than the next generation of cathodes that we made by other cell producers with a nickel manganese cobalt ratio of 811. As a result, even with its battery, the gross weight of a Model 3 is on par with its gasoline powered counterparts. So a lot of fancy jargon in there, but I think the big takeaway is the first line cells used in the Model 3 are the highest energy density cells used in any electric vehicle. So this is their bit Tesla's even admitting that they're better. The cells in its cheaper car, the Model 3 are more efficient and advanced than the ones in its higher end vehicles. That makes no sense to me. Um, other than the fact that the lens that you look at it of Tesla had to launch the Model 3, they had to make it the compelling product it was. And so because of that, and they were supply limited on the batteries, they could, you know, they had to scale production. Um, they only had so many batteries to use. And so they decided to put them in the Model 3, not the Model S and X. My theory now is they're going to wind down the use of the 18650 cells in the S and X, or maybe stop entirely and redesign battery packs with the 2170 cells, which are the industry's leading technology. Technology. Why is this so exciting? Because new cells, new technology, more efficient in the Model S and X means higher range vehicles. That's right. What the, the really happened is, yeah, the cheapest Model S and X are no longer available. And also the shortest range Model S and X are no longer available. Before Tesla removed the cheapest version, you know, you could get about a 250 mile range car to about a 330 or 40 mile range car. With the new cells, we could go from, you know, 300 being the base to potentially a 400 or 400 plus mile range Tesla or something up there. And so Tesla has been steadily increasing the range of its vehicles um, throughout the life of its company. And I think this could be sort of a big step change in, in the range of the Model S and X. And if you think about it, you know, all the cars Tesla's competing with, the Jaguar I-Pace, the Porsche Taycan, are all competing with specs from Tesla's Model S and X on the 18650 cells. If Tesla can put in the 2170 cells and have 400 miles of range... Like this is a game changer um, for that entire EV category because now every other electric car is just going to have like a half or two thirds of the range of a Tesla. Like Tesla's pace of innovation is so much quicker that they're just getting miles and miles ahead while the other automaker, you know, the other automakers are still trying to come out with their first, you know, real compelling EV and Tesla's already on, you know, this next generation battery technology, which is miles ahead. So um, that's what I think is going on. So in short, we have, uh, I, I don't know, all of this is speculation. We have a big shakeup going on at Tesla's 
product lineup. They've dropped the 75 kilowatt versions, which substantially raises the price. I can't think it's going to stay like this. Something's going to happen. Um, Sunday's last day you can order it. So my guess is either late this week or early next week, we get a big announcement from Tesla about new versions of the Model S and X. So stay tuned. But my guess, HyperChange's call, is that we're going to see a much bigger battery pack come out that's more expensive, that's going to be a range above 350 miles. I'm hoping for around 400 miles of range with the new 2170 cells. Would love to know what you think in the comments below. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters and producers for helping out the channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.